Tiffany Ford. It's you, girl. Born and raised in the Jane Finch community, Tiffany is the founder of the nonprofit Beyond at Risk. And Beyond at Risk uh, represents a growing movement of leaders that are dedicated to research and actions that are focused primarily on empowering our young people, challenging harmful narratives, we hear about them every day, that surround marginalized neighborhoods. But then in 2014, Tiffany was elected as Toronto District School Board Trustee in Ward 4 on the platform for better schools, better education, better community, because they're connected, right? They're, they're connected, and it's important to make that connection. You're doing amazing work. We're so proud of you. Ladies and gentlemen, Tiffany Ford. Well, I had a script, <laughs> and that's gone now. First of all, uh, it's such an amazing experience, and just for me to be here on the same stage as Julie Black, Jana Finch, all right, uh, looked up to you, um, Trey Anthony, Marcy, Debbie, oh my goodness, this is incredible for me. Um, and I have many friends in the audience as well, uh, shout outs to you. Thank you for being here as well. You know, I had no idea why I was going to be invited to this event, um, but it might be because, you know, last year I was the only black female to be elected during Toronto's municipal elections. Thank you, but that's not good. <laughs> that's not a good at all. I'm sorry. Uh, you know, in the upcoming uh, municipal elections, we must have more black females, please. They need to be elected as well. So whoever is ready to step up, make sure you're stepping up and make sure that you're advocating on behalf of your communities. Now, of course, I can talk about, you know, the Honorable Dr. Jean Augustine, of course. I could talk about Mitzi Hunter. I could talk about Selena, uh, Cesar Chavans, I believe. Uh, sorry, you know, that's her husband's last name. Um, and, you know, they're, they are, well, aside from Mitzi, but Dr. Jean Augustine, she is Grenadian, as well as Selena. Uh, I know some Jamaican sites to say small island. Um, <laughs> but she, as, <laughs> as a, a young female born and raised in Jane and Finch to a, to a Grenadian woman, I was very, very proud to see um, those small island ladies all the way in parliament. Um, and they really, they inspired me. Well, I know Jean Augustine inspired me um, to sort of step up because in my community, of course, we have way too much negativity, way too much stereotypes. Uh, you know, my whole concept of beyond at risk is the fact that don't call me at risk. We're all at risk, okay? Everybody's at risk. When you're calling me at risk, you're stigmatizing me. And because of my, my mom, who came here to Canada from Grenada at 21 in 1970, she went and uh, she became a live-in nanny for $20 a week. Um, she faced racism in that household and said, you know what, after two months she was done. Then she went to another uh, family, a Jewish family, got $60 a week, uh, was raising two, well, help raising two kids. Um, you know, that inspires me. And then she was done with that afterwards. You know, after three years she was good and done and ready. So she decided to work in a nursing home uh, starting off as a dietary aid for $2.05, as she told me, per hour uh, in Jane and Finch, in that nursing home. And then, uh, after a few years, she became what we call a PSW, healthcare aid, and she did that for 39 years in the same nursing home in Jane and Finch. Okay? And from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m., she did that daily, except for a Sabbath. 
And she made sure that she was at home waiting for me at 3 p.m. after school so I wouldn't have the chance to get into some real trouble. Um, and it's because of her, even as a single mother, um, waiting for me, making sure that I was there, taking care of me, you know, regardless of, of her hardships as well. Um, and the fact that she also didn't, you know, graduate from high school, she just, you know, balanced her life with my, my older sister, who's 14 years older than me, another mom as well. I didn't, really didn't have a chance to get into any trouble. Um, and and um, really providing, she, some, of the, some of the key uh, pointers that she gave to me in my life was, first of all, don't follow friends. I'm sure you're in front of me, yeah, I know. Don't follow friends, you know, be a leader. Uh, there were steel. Um, <laughs> and um, some other key pointers as well. But uh, the most important thing for me is that, aside from my, my ancestors, knowing that there is so many black women that died, died, black women, black girls that died to ensure that I can stand here today, I can never take that in vain, never. And I, I'm really happy and proud to know that now my mom, seeing that I'm a trustee, she went back to school at 67 years old. She said the other day, my dad is a trustee. I can't I have to go back to school. <laughs> and I was like, mom, go back to school. And she's, and she's so excited. Three days a week, she's back in school. And uh, hopefully she'll get that high school diploma. And uh, I'm just so proud. To, to be here and really represent my community. I still live in Jane and Finch, and that to me is really important for the young people around me, that it doesn't matter where you live, it's who you are, your mindset, and your focus, and I learned that from black women. Thank you very much.